Welcome viewers. In this video we are going to do design of base plate and anchor bolt in robot structure analysis with the euro code. For designing the base plate we are going to take a sample uh, equipment support structure which is already designed. So this on the screen you can see that this is a 33 kV equipment support structure for the substation project. So in this uh, we have lot of loads and load combinations uh, here uh, listed which already calculated. self weight of the structure and the equipment working person load static tension with and without the deviation wind on equipment in both the direction x and y and wind on equipment wind on structure in x and y direction modal calculation seismic x y z and the load combinations so the with that uh, this sample calculation or sample design of 33 kv support structure is designed now we are going to do a base plate for this so for that we need to extract the reactions of ultimate load ultimate limit state combinations so these are the 2 not 1 2 3 is the load combinations which we had considered for this sample structure so you can see the definition for those here it is some 2.5 times self weight 2.5 times tension and 2.5 times wind this is a heavier combinations anyway after selecting this reaction we need to copy and paste to that excel sheet so here we are pasting here at uh, keep text only so again this uh, we need to find out the maximum loads in x y shear force and vertical loads downward m of x is a moment m of y is a moment uh, m of x y z is a moment about x y z respectively so here we can ignore this m of z because in the right hand side you can see that picture if the base plate is like this the moment which is causing about z axis that is vertical axis will not make any changes in the base plate or the anchor bolt design but in case of moment in x and y direction if we see that in the tail part of the moment direction will cause a tension which is uplift and in the head of this moment arrow will cause a compression so similar like for m of y also the same situation but in other direction so we are going to ignore here this m of z because it is not going to make any changes in the anchor bolt and the base plate design as it is vertically rotation now on the screen you can see that robot structural model so that load table that maximum load table we have showing here which is extracted from the excel so now go to design menu here click steel connection design so now it is viewing the structure here in the top you can see that four tab the first one is scheme which is about the scheme which we need to prepare connection view so these are some uh, the preliminary tab we can able to see here in that we need to do the design of a base plate <coughs> so go to fixed column base which is a second icon in the right hand side from the top so here you can see that in the left hand side steel connector inspector fixed column base so once after clicking this right hand side icon we will be getting this kind of short menu which will be self explained in that so you can check our structure part so here this vertical support structure is of heb 200 so we can select this section instead of ipe 300 it should be hpe heb 200 click apply 
and the grade whatever the grade you can select as per the technical specification or as per the technical requirement so this this we can consider as 355 and those dimension will come here you can give a separate name if required and this picture you can see this is like without brackets but we need some stiffening plates also which is of a, a trapezoidal so then the shape will be like this if you want only simple stiffening you can select this so depends upon the requirement we need to select this so now we are selecting the stiffening with the, a trapezoidal plate then come to that plate in the next tab in the plate we need to mention the plate dimensions so we can consider the 600 by 600 mm width and length of the base plate you can see on the picture here and the thickness we can consider a 25 mm as it is default and the grade as we are assigned as a s355 for the structure column the same we can consider here apply then come to the stiffener plate so in the stiffener plate as we are considering the total length of the base plate as a 600 mm we no need to consider the entire 600 mm because the welding uh, we required some 10 to 20 mm so we can consider a 540 mm of length of the stiffener plate so that instead of covering the entire base base, base plate uh, the stiffener can be reduced to, to some 60 mm or 30 mm on both, both the side so that the welding can be able to apply uh, uh, the welding there won't be any hindrance <coughs> then height is a hs which is provided in the sketch in the right hand side of the robot structural analysis so this we can consider 150 and the thickness we can consider 8 mm so if you see here in the stiffener type uh, in the top there are several types so in that we need to select uh, four side uh, stiffeners so this stiffener we need to select or even here there is a mid uh, middle stiffener we need some stiffener where only the four side of the corner to be stiffened so this stiffener seems to be suitable so we are selecting this type of stiffener having the stiffened at the four corner of the column so the sizes we already entered and this width also we need to change to 540 and this is 8 mm horizontal cut can be 20 let it be as it is apply then coming to anger bolt anger bolt we can have a 3 number of rows and 3 number of rows in vertical and horizontal or x and y direction so that uh, we need to mention th the shear plane a threaded portion we can consider only the shear plane so the vertical spacing between the anchor bolt we can consider as 240 so in total it should be 480 so it means 240 240 so here in the picture you can see the spacing uh, dimensions so between these two 240 and again from here 240 we are considering so in total it is a 480 because we are having a three number of rows in both the x and y direction and the anchor bolt diameter we can consider 24 mm the anchors di type we can select this instead of j or whatever as per the 
project specification we need to consider this type and the class right now we are having only 4.6 in this robot structure there is no 5.6 or 8.8 and the dimension l1 here you can see some stage wise length so l1 is the base plate above dimension for structure that we can consider as 100 mm l2 is a in between from bottom of the base plate to the stiffener plate which is in the anger bolt so that we can consider as 800 mm and l3 we can consider as 100 so totally the length of the anger bolt is 1 meter so then the length and width of the anger plate so that we can consider 100 by 100 and the thickness can be 8 mm washers let it be 60 by 60 you can consider 50 by 50 and the thickness also 8 and the grade like you see need to select and apply so wedge is not applicable we are not going to consider any wedge below the base plate and weld we can consider 5 mm in both uh, stiffener and main plate click apply next coming to foundation so the foundation size we can assume because that base plate is 7 uh, sorry 600 mm then we can assume the foundation as 900 foundation is nothing but it is a pedestal dimension or column which is going to hold the base plate so the height also we can give it give it as 1200 so that uh, we can give more than the length of the anger bolt but anyway that anger bolt is going to penetrate into the concrete by 800 plus 100 which is a 900 mm only but we can consider the 1200 and the grade of concrete so this will help to calculate the bonding stress of the anger bolt with the concrete so we need to fix this uh, concrete grade also here and the thickness of the grout if any generally for uh, substation project the 50 mm used to provide in order to requirement of the adjustment in the structure height so we can consider 50 mm then final one sheet is a code parameter so in that uh, frame can be sway and the length of the structure if you see so this structure height we calculated as 2.4 meter so we can consider 2.4 meter column length so this beta reduction factor for resistance we can kept the same as like that in the concrete we are designing as a cracked concrete section so grouting layer if it is known to you you can add here the values so this design guide is not required for us to design for this now click okay now the anger bolt and base plate dimension you can see which we had assigned just before so 900 is the size of the foundation and the anger bolt distance is 480 in total from outer to outer of the anger bolt and inner we are having 
you can see here so this is a overall uh, 3d view of the assigned base plate and anger bolt arrangement with the heb 200 and this is a structural model for this we are designing connection now we need to apply the loads so for that you need to go to this tab called uh, properties in that the blue color text which is showing force in members you need to click here and here you can see the tab so in that tab we need to fill the loads which is showing here so first one is we need to enter the nominal force which is a vertical force v z which is showing on the table 8.6 8.76 as it is a downward we need to consider minus 8.76 similar like for bending moment m of x we need to consider as 38.66 so we can consider 39 m of y is also 39 we can consider shear force 15.1 15.01 we can consider 15.1 and shear force in y direction is a 17.7 we can consider 18 so now click calculate so you can see here the usage factor in the top which is 0.8 and you can see the symbol it is stating okay then it means our anger bolt and base plate is safe so you can see the definition of the calculation here so this detail cal detail calculation report we can able to extract to the pdf by uh, pressing a control p and your keyboard so here that interaction factor or usage factor is verified and safe which is less than 1 similar like for stiffener plate transfers weld uh, welding also design and connection stiffness also design and the interaction is 0.8 so with this the calculation of the connection using the robot structural in euro code get completed Thank you. Look description for more related videos. Subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you.